uh, because the game has just gotten underway. They said that there was going to be a 10 minute long break and then uh, that got pushed forward very quickly. Uh, and man, already there. SD, Centaur, mm -hmm. IO, Gyro, it's happening. And so we do have two lines going. I just want to point out, I know some people were yeah. wondering uh, if you want to go find Amplify versus Resurgence. It's still going oh. currently. So they're still on the second match, and it's uh, not even that far in. Only 13-2 to two in terms of kill score. So Is that the uh, second yeah. game or the third game? That's their second That's game. That's their second. I think they started half an hour okay. behind us. All right. So oh, it's kind of, okay, I it's see. It's kind of staggered. Some I staggered think, swapping. Yeah, it was, it was offset a little bit. So that's why that. Evos now have the double. Okay. Because they've uh, obviously just played their game where we thought they were going to win. At least some of us who were yeah. less intelligent thought they were going to win. Uh, but 496 took the victory. And now we did mention this, though. The IO Gyro, they did play in the opens, of course. Right. Always a nice thing to have in your kit. I, I can't believe it's it's getting through like this, though. Isn't this a tried and true combo? Shouldn't everyone be fearing the power of the IO Gyro? Dire team yeah, I don't know. I, or, or at least like take Morphling in response, but maybe that's not. Maybe I guess they just feel like we can Centaur Stampede away or jump on them when they relocate in. It's not as bad now because he doesn't give them Ags either. I I still don't think that the Ags is that important a part of. This yeah, combo. I would agree. I yeah. actually like the Ags purchase when right. the Gyros were doing that, where they just buy the yeah. Ags early with the like IO. Mel yeah. Maelstrom Ladies. Ags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the IO more than anything just enables Gyrocopter to one flash farm a lot and two gives him a ton of survivability so he can go just the damage build because being able to delay a potential BKB for a while on a Gyrocopter is so valuable. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's another combo though. Yeah, Troll Meg, we like that. And right. Grimstroke Doom, right? It's all combos here. It really is. Centaur then, Shadow yeah. Demon. We're just we're picking blocks. <laughs> this is the blocks of heroes again. Wait, what's the Centaur Shadow Demon combo? Disruption into stop. Oh, into I see. Double edge soul crack catcher. I don't know. Evos's laning stage is so much better than uh Adroids, so yeah. yeah. You got two lane combos like, that are very yeah, like dominant. Doom's very Doom's dominant. Doom's yeah, but they have the tenth pick you. mid though. And I always wonder like how much yeah. it matters with just mag troll. Like, this guy gets so farmed. Yeah. You know, Cameron, I, I heard you talking uh, some smack about Magnus the other day, and I have to say I agree with you. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I think I Magnus. Was, that's I, not I was, how you I was set ready, up that I, I was ready to. Uh, I was ready to tear you to pieces. Yeah. yeah. I was. Yeah. I, was, I, I found an. I found an ally. That was a go. good switcheroo. No, I, I think go. Magnus is a little overrated. Obviously, this combo is really good. It allows the troll to farm really quickly. But it feels like every game I watch Magnus, it's just struggle, struggle, and just hanging on to that hope of finding a game-changing RP. And, and it, it may never or may happens. not come. Yeah. I, it comes like, what, 20% of games or something? You see it occasionally. The but AoE is really small. Like, yeah. the enemy team yeah. really has to group up for you to to do that much. And I think when you see this in draft, your brain goes, oh, Troll's just going to have a free Battle Fury. But they have to then be they're only near gonna each other. They're only going to have four heroes but on their team. It is a position four mag, which is the way that I like it more. True. I think that position three okay. mag is not good <laughs> doesn't feel <laughs> well, good I, I think now. this at least feels like it's passable in a way I'm where I'm just sad okay well this is also the we, we had a conversation during open qualifiers right. right I think Magnus needs like a level 15 talent empower cast range global that'd be pretty nifty that would be really good yeah. it would be really good <laughs> what are his 15 talents now are what, if that, his, what if that was his what if that was his eggs his eggs oh yeah that could be that i'd also be down with that global yeah. empower they, i think you would i think you would have to like nerf the duration yeah. a little bit maybe something like that. but or what something. is his current eggs still that shockwave goes up and back and pulls people yeah, towards and it, it does yeah, half damage it to creeps and it's it's got all kinds of stipulations you hover over and it covers the whole screen i, I just feel <laughs> it's sad not great i feel sad for magnus because i feel like his balance is completely tied to empower like, yeah. if Empower is good, you're going to pick Magnus just so you can put four points in that ability and put it on your carry. Yeah. Uh, and if it's otherwise, he just doesn't see any play at all. Mm. I kind of want them to, like, rework or nerf Empower and then give him some buffs. Maybe lean into his theme a little bit more. Like, he's 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 loosely <laughs> supposed to be. Dude, <laughs> this game's over. He's supposed <laughs> to be, like, magnetism <laughs> themed, right? Yeah. But what about Polarity. his kit? Evo's what about Kunkka. his kit is that? Kunkka, like, Kunkka, Kunkka, GG. Anyway, Evos have sorry, got it. Sorry, this started time. me on the Magnus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna pick Kunkka right now for the mid lane, and they will be victorious. Why victorious? That's what's about to Just happen. X torrent, and then you like setting up for in. relocates. Yeah. They got soul bind doom. Mm. You looking to get some of this action Kunkka pick? Any other hero? Any hero but Death Kunkka. Death Prophet. No, he's saying he's. I'll Benny give you hero. any hero. Any hero. And any I take hero. Kunkka. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Five are on that. <laughs> All right, let's any go. Any other hero. <laughs> let's go. Any other hero. I think it's Death Prophet. That's oh. my call. <laughs> now, 
it's uh, fellow analyst. What do you think yes. here? Is this a Kunkka? Uh, I'm tr I'm trying to figure out if I can like guess a different hero. Uh, so you don't like DP? How about TA? Ten uh, no, I, I don't I don't know if I like the TA. I like the I like. I think they need a little bit of catch. I think that's what the lean is about, and that's what the potential oh! is. Oh, I'm yeah, back, baby! baby. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Any other hero. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, Jesus. Writing it down. Christ. That's a victory oh. for Trent. <laughs> yeah. How many Evos games Five did you guys dollars. watch? <laughs> I watched more than I, I just think <laughs> Io Gyro just is Kunkka. I don't even know if we've guy. seen a face guy. hugger Kunkka. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm coming back. <laughs> Daddy's going to get a new pair of shoes. All right. But he just got owned by OD. It's fine. Did he? All right, that's fine. It's fine. It's I fine. think he got owned by OD. Easy. This Adrid um, draft is so greedy. It's yeah. so greedy. You mm. know the one thing that I will say, and we always focus on the carries with the, the Empower. Centaur with Empower is kind of nifty, too. You know, get that man a little bit more farm than he would have had otherwise. Well, that's an interesting There's thought. only so much farm on the map, Gib. That's true, but that little <laughs> camp over there, he's going to find it. That okay. man will get it. Oh, yeah. by the way, these are your boys, Bocarino and Boombox, if you guys are just tuning oh, in. Oh, yep, yeah. If you guys haven't been watching a lot of uh, the OK. Detroit, and you're like, oh, and I didn't see the Mac. Opens. Yeah. yeah. Mac as well. well I call, we call him Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Boombox is tagged up as Boomy yeah. on the Magnus, but uh, yeah. it is indeed Boombox. What, what, we team, are they, what team are they on before? They, they've played together. Clutch. I, they were on a Clutch yeah. roster mm -hmm. yeah. before the Clutch with Five Europeans, I think. Remaining. Yeah, the like OG yeah. Clutch. The, the OG Clutch. That that clutch roster stayed together for a while. Right? Yeah, like, it was yeah. like RML, yeah, Boombox. yeah, uh, and then they slowly got picked apart to other yeah. rosters and stuff yeah. like that. But I think RML's happy where he is right now. Yeah. Were they were they happy feet at one point? Is that? Oh, they might have been. I don't remember oh, what that geez. roster <laughs> was though. Yeah, I can't remember. I think so. That sounds right. Is anybody? Happy Someone calls Scan. Is, is somebody happy? No, feet happy feet yeah. doesn't exist. I think it's Dunzo. Oh. Okay, it's one of those uh, abandoned orgs. I think. It's a really high tier name. I like it. Because that was a, was that like a, Maneski sub? Yes, team? it was. Yeah, yeah. kind of. That was their like. Yeah, that was under the, the farm team umbrella. Yeah, send and down the miners. They, they were they were em <laughs> they were emulating the uh, like the China strats, yeah. right? Yeah. You got you got your academy team and your B team and your if there's an organization to your do it in SCA, it's it's yeah. Maneski. That's for sure. Yeah. Well. Bocarino has looked uh, a little hot and cold. In the opens, before we knew that was Bocarino, we were flaming him hard in one really? of those games. Okay. <laughs> what was he, a bristleback? He, he was bristle. Dude, he was Aww. on the beach. I think they train. won eventually. Yeah, and then we realized that it was Bocarino and gave him a little more credit. Yeah. Well, we do have uh, odds here feeling like Team Adroit is uh, is the ones to do it. That look, no, that they're, they're the underdogs. Yeah, they're the underdogs. That looks pretty fair. I'm saying for us. For oh, the, for uh, us. Bets. Yeah, for the betters. No. That's the other way you say it. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you stuck the landing. <laughs> Thank you. That's I what's important. It. We do have the game we could pop into now. Oh, nice. See I, think if just, I think we just got a follower. Oh, look at that. that. Hey, is that why I was freaking out? Yeah, I think that's what the purple's about. Nice. And we cut away to it immediately. That's, that's fine. It's perfect. The game's, Yay. the game's way more important. We'll BTS more. subs. That might have actually been a sub, yeah. Do it. Oh, excellent. It makes the little faces on the robot. Mm. I like it. I don't know what that emote is. That just popped up on the little Twitch chat thing. There's people there. hitting each other down I, bottom. I see some Omega lols. Yeah. So let's see. My man Boomy got the boots. Does he get the D ward? There is no ward. But that's fine. Does the Kunkka have the uh, the remaining ward? Who's got who's got the remaining radiant ward? They might not have bought it. Uh, oh, can't get D warded if it's in the shop. <laughs> exactly. It's genius. I think the uh, the one ward is an underrated tactic. Yeah, the the Kunkka does not need it no. for mid at all. So. I think it's it's totally fine, and then they they'll get more wards for that first night time to exert some pressure on the map. So for those of you at home that are wondering, who are these adroit guys? They did form on May 22nd of this year, so Nick. not a long history. Two for two on the bounty runes. All right, a full Filipino squad. I'm really afraid of these two side. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I was just thinking the exact same <laughs> thing. It's Grimstroke <laughs> Doom, man. That ink <laughs> yeah, swell. Yeah, well, yeah, Grimstroke, Grimstroke Doom, and then the Io Gyro. Like, I think Gyro is actually decent against Centaur, because you can kill him without giving him too many stacks, is the thing. 
Oh, well, he came mid for the uh, the three at the beginning. Oh wait, that was just trading back and forth. Good luck mind. to Boombox, dude. Support Mag in this situation just seems horrendous. Oh yeah. Wait. Give him the push the, back. Wait, 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 wait. The Magnus is he's, he's with the power. troll. Give him the push. No. Uh, oh. He's all right. This is definitely a kill once Doom gets level three. Yeah. I think. Th like, they do need a little bit of time. You, you just get the one one one, and then you uh, you run at him. At least it's troll and not like PA or something, you know? I'm always so sad when I see people get lots of points in Infernal Blade and only leave Scorched at one. That ability does so much damage. Yeah, it really does. It's like, because the duration and the damage both go up, uh -huh. so the total damage gets crazy. 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 Jairus putting the hurt on the shout, even. And they're turning back some of that damage onto Io as well. But he has a stick charge, or he has a stick now. What does he really get it from? I guess just Rocket Barrage? Not great. I mean, they do spam just a little bit, yep. these yep. guys. <laughs> it's kind of the whole idea. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's so hard, uh, it's, it's our man, Mr. Kunkka, having a pretty good time against uh, Mac on the OD. As the levels get up, it might become a little bit more annoying to lane against. But same could be said for Kunkka as well. All that harassment. And who's going to rotate, really? Yeah. Kind of, we're locked in these pretty static lanes. Yeah. Eventually, you can maybe see. Oh my god, White Mon, what are you doing? Uh, that was Boomy, actually. But maybe you get like an imprisonment into a skewer back or something like that. Potentially. I, yeah, especially if with a rune, maybe like four minutes or something if the wave's pushing it under your tower. It depends on whether the Kunkka gets low right. at all. Like, I, I can see that play, and then what happens if Kunkka just TPs? I think not like, if he's full HP, and then you imprison him and skewer him under the tower, right. you're just going to TP away. That's true. You would have to, like, then TP in the Shadow Demon as well to be ready to have one more interrupt. Wait. And it's not like that's an easy thing to make Oh, up top, they do get the skewer back. All right, why watch things so else, though? <laughs> Did you want me here? Well, some body blocks. A little bit of extra harassment there. Oh, maybe. That's they it. Got him. All right. Dude, so you were back. Point. Fervor. No points up right now in the rage. This fervor is actually legit. Also, going back, he tried to be kind of aggressive with the ink swell, and he ends up getting them both oh, killed. No. That is sick. One skewer. That, that is not supposed to happen. One skewer. Mag haters, where are you at? Oh, Hello? Yeah, right over now here. down bottom. <laughs> They're going for another setup. Wisp. I mean, is there any way that the blade is the spell you skip for the first two levels? That can't be correct. Surely level one Infernal Blade no, was better than Scorched yeah, I, think, I think you go, yeah, you go Devour, Blade, and then you get Scorched. Yeah, this is, this, this is weird. Like, there's no way that's the build. Infernal Blade is just, because like, this mag was just walking up and punching Doom, and I'm just like, how is this happening? Like, I know Doom has no armor, uh -oh. but... Uh, oh, oh, nice. Oh. Nice luck. Okay, so everything is reversed. The two lanes that we thought were going to do really well are not doing well. And the lane that we thought was kind of the counter pick is now losing. I mean, you still have 19 CS on this Daya's Doom. So, like, it's, yes. and thir yeah, it's not like it's terrible, but the double kill for trolls, it definitely hurts. I do literally love the, like, Fervor build. No points up in Berserker's Rage. It's a lot more damage than I think they were expecting. They should get both bounties top, you would think, as well. What about bottom? This Io, Io doesn't have the bottle yet anyway, so they'll probably just be in lane. So it'll probably be a two for two bounty swap. But in the meantime, this is the strat right here. XTP, and all of a sudden, what a hero. It's back ready to go. Yep. Kunkka getting off to a hot start is scary as well. He's going to be able to run around and kill these other side lanes, no problem. X is just the craziest ability. Yeah. It yeah. scales so quickly. Yeah. The range is just unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so I was talking about this before, but like the. For a while, we were seeing mid one go. Three Look points. how pushed back they are on the bounties. They left the lane to come contest Evos on that top bounty run. Trying oh. to get a cliff skewer. <laughs> you, you thought about it. Yeah, so that means that uh, they're going to get three for one. Because they managed to shove out the wave. That is excellent lane control by a droid. Because the way it was sitting, it looked like the rating were the ones who were going to have it shoving it under the tower when the bounty runs were spawning. Right. Torrent connects. Kunkka, he's still such a strong laner. 
makes me feel like he was criminally underpicked looking back at how strong he was with the free denies. With, with the denies? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and after using it, no imprisonment. Mac, See my man. You later. Rotation. Oh, and the Shadow Demon rotates, so now Sensor has to play way more carefully at bottom. Yeah, this wow. This might carry. Because he can kill both of these side lanes yeah. so easily. And he just sets up for every reload. Kunkka buys Halberd this game? Yes, 100%. OD troll. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Give it to me. I mean, he could go Radiance as well. We've I, seen I think, I, do that a I lot. think he gets a, I mean, he gets some early items before that, but I think the Halberd is just so of value. We've Even like Spirit Vessel as a stop off a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's good yeah, here. Yeah, probably not this game. Yeah. But I could definitely see, like, Radiant Halberd. He doesn't desperately need the BKB right away. Like, the, the main incentive for BKB is his OD, right? But if you have Mischance and the Halberd. Yeah, the Radiance is very tempting this game. Yeah. There's a lot of Radiance value after the phase boots, but it'll depend on how his game's going. Kunkka making the rotation. But uh, SD is here too, Invis. So might be able to save him. Oh, he didn't. Oh, okay. Okay, Fair just, enough. just torrent the disruption. I don't think he quite had the range to get it, so Bach might still go down here. Nice. Stick charges, he's fine. Yeah, he makes it back. Well That's played. That's big. That's big. You know, he's able to uh, keep him alive. That rotation doesn't bear fruit. And Whitemon will get some time here mid. Yeah, they don't really lose that much because they already parked the... Is he stacking with a stroke of... They got another skewer up top onto a veal. The pullback patrol didn't commit. Okay. And Kunkka also TPs up there. Yeah, going for the save. This is the danger of Kunkka, though, right? You, you start running around, you don't have multiple points in X, and I guess he is going to get back to the triangle, but... Oh, there's a nice ancient stack there, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he stacked it with Stroke of Fate. It's pretty nice. Ah, what a gamer. The Grimstroke hacks. What's the actual net worth differential on Kunkka? Okay, they're very close. Only 100 yeah. favor per Kunkka. That's the thing, right? You find a couple kills, but he just gets a free lane for a little while when you move around. He's going to get another stack here if he wants it for Facehugger. This will be a... Is that a quad? Yeah. If, yep. Wow. If he gets it. Yeah, I was going to say, can he get it that way? Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Wow. Can go back. <laughs> Down bottom. Wonder Kid. They find one, don't get the second. Uh, one for one. Oh, his yeah, phase boots are waving, <coughs> wearing off. It might have been a kill potential. Yeah, he doesn't have phase on the centaur, though, so. They lost the wisp, but. Eh. It's just a trade. Okay. This bottom lane, uh, I mean, the top lane, I think, should be going better. I guess because they've left, they've taken the Grimstroke away from there. And he, I think that early lead for the Dire just changes the dynamic. That, that double kill, yeah. I'm, I'm still with you that I, I don't like the Doom skill build. Though. Yeah, I don't know about this. This is very old school Doom. I don't know if it's new school Doom. Yeah, I think they, they kind of wasted the lane that they had some pretty strong kill potential. But is there any chance they can scout out this ancient stack? Oh my god, here? they're gonna stack it again? Is yeah. you serious? They, this Io Gyro is about to be so happy. Like if if Dyer can scout this somehow, th there is a chance they could take it with Troll, like Troll uh, Centaur. I don't know. No, that nah, he didn't stack. get it anyway. Right. It's a little hard to stack. It's at a this fat point. stack. It's yeah. tricky. Okay, another rotation. Doesn't want to get X. They don't even. They don't even have the ward. I yet. know. Yeah, I guarantee they think they do because he checked once already with a yeah, sentry. Now they put that. another one down. Like, dude, they have to have a ward. Are they gonna get the conquer to torrent the high ground, or they just the courier gonna scout it? Yeah, courier scouts. They're they're so sure. They're like, he must know. He was playing so aggressively, and then he backed off. Yeah, and he won't go oh, spear Kunk vessel. He is, he is going for the vessel. It's game. good versus the troll. Like, the decent. Dude, I don't yeah. know. This, uh, like, for the early lead that he had, this Kunkka is... is under it, attack. He needs to get some more stuff done here. It, it, maybe the vessel's super value because you have Wisp. Like, you put the vessel charge on Wisp. But yep, definitely. Yeah. More of a o team OD item. OD Midas, though. So his game's looking, looking pretty secure. Radiant Australia. Alright, Facehugger's away. game is rough right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like walking Sorry. into heroes and not getting anything. Stomp. Double edge. Good bit of damage, but the burst heal is there. Ball Still down. Wonder Kid. Dropping somewhat low. Can they get another double edge? Just doesn't decide to go for it. Sanity's Eclipse comes out, bringing down this Io. Tries to get away. Needs another punch here. The side, and they're actually going to lose the Shadow Demon. In your dream, went back in for the kill on the SD. Yeah. Oh, the slowdown, the stroke of fate. 
And he gets the bounty. <laughs> Keep Meanwhile, running. up top, Magnus is dying. Magnus is dead. Oh, and your dream just ran into a troll warlord. That's a nice. Oh, he tried to go for the Bob Ross. Oh, it didn't quite work. He's gonna give him another Bob Ross. Oh no! <laughs> An extra hundred gold given away. Well, I think that's pretty good for Evos, uh, all things considered. If you factor in that top, although they it lose their the gyro back, wisp. And they're going for this. Okay. Oh my God! It's everything. I. Shadow Demon. Is he gonna get denied? Good. Uh, the clean. They get the tower. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Negative. <laughs> that, that ain't it, Chief. No. And now uh, they get another one. Power of the Conca. Get those, get those uh, earn charges going. Yeah, now he's got his level 10. That's what they, it's about. If they bring the gyrocopter to the Ancients, I think they can clear it now. With Suddenly uh, he has a spirit vessel. Yeah, we, we were worried about <laughs> Kunka for a second. He's, he's back on top, baby. Definitely. Straight to the bottom with you. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. This is a pretty chaotic game. Mm. Definitely. I, th I think we're really going to feel the Dyer's greed from the Dyer lineup for the next 10 minutes. Yeah, like the Midas o Odie Brody. just wants to hit creeps. Troll just wants to hit creeps. And Centaur is a comparatively slow offlaner. Like, I think you compare Centaur to, like, a Mars, right? Probably so see more soon. ganks. What build is the Gyro going for? Uh, oh. Relocate. Top. Skewer back onto two. RP follow up. Lots of damage coming out. Can they keep him alive? This OD doing what he can. Ends up mastering himself. Let's get hit by the boat. Uh oh. Troll leash nobody. Soulbind comes out. The ulti Connects there. The Shadow Demon, but expires. And now the Kunkka in too deep. He'll fall. And that's it. It's just a one for one after all that. The Wisp able to sustain. They had the RP Soul Catcher too. Yeah. Mm. I thought that, you know, that there's an opportunity there in the late game, but there's just so much healing on the IO, it doesn't even matter. The stack is still just staring. So what, what was the answer to the question about the Gyro's build? What's he going for? Maelstrom. Uh, just the Maelstrom. Okay. Yeah. Very, very standard stuff. Likely eggs after, though, you would think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, more than likely. I can't see anything else that really stands out. I mean, unless he just feels like getting a BKB or Unle something. Yeah, right? well, unless he's just like, oh, maybe I want a Yasha. But yeah. It's, it's just like a casual farming thing. Oh, they got, Ooh, another, they got stack. another stack. All right. Got a guy. Right. Well, so what's, what is he at right now? 5,200 at 13 minutes. And we'll see how far he can progress as he makes his way through all of this stacked up gold. And at the moment, the Dire Heroes don't look like they're going to be doing anything about this. They still know about it. It was stacked by a couple of different people, right? So we're yeah. not going to see one of the supports, like, yes. just rock it up. I think Grimstroke did a lot of it. Yeah. Um, some Grim, some Kunkka, I yeah. think. So why is the troll going S and Y? How I'll is say it's mostly Grim. How is that better than Maelstrom or Diffusal first? I guess it allows him to fight more early. There's a way. lot of magic damage on the Radiant between the Gyro and the Kunkka. He's just trying to get some more raw HP. Do you think it's actually better, though? Well, if he goes the S and Y, then uh, the status resist for the Doom is probably the other big thing. Mm. Um, that way you can Radiant's make sure that he gets his ulti off afterwards. He's not the real carry this game anyway. It's, uh, also, he wants tower. all the stat Sunday items attack. for Empower. Right. That's, that's a, true. That's, a fair that's, point. Yeah. that's why he wants the Yasha. Yeah. Like, this is a game where you're definitely going S and Y, Satanic, uh, yeah, Butterfly kind of a game. Yeah, that's, that's a good Radiant's point. Relocate potential. White Mon shows himself. Soulbind could come out. Catches now onto the Magnus. Double Doom. Gotta run. Stampede. Get yourselves out of there. And actually, they might just escape. Yeah, they I went know. for a very safe relocate. Kind of lucky they got that Stampede off in time. Or well played, I guess. Yeah. And Jai was like, okay, back to the Ancients. All right. Can he do it? So he's at 6.3k before this stack. Let's see what he jumps up to. Oh my god, it's so big. I want to see what Grimstroke jumps up to. This guy's so happy right now. They did just use everything, and now a fight is brewing, though. And they don't have relocate available to get into this one. Gotta be careful. White Mon slowed, caught, killed. It's only one. All right, slow and steady. A little low on resources here. Yeah, they can't quite finish off the Ancients. So we got 700 gold for the Ancients that they did clear. Pretty okay. penny. 
Are there still big ones left? Is yeah, there's yeah. at least one it's big all Drake. the big ones. Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's so another yeah. couple. One, one small, rumbled hide, and that's it. I actually didn't know the small ones were called rumble hides. Radiant's I thought they were just smaller tower. thunder hides. <laughs> well, there you go. Rumble hide. It's quite yeah, still below the troll. Another 500 gold sitting there. I'm surprised at how fast the troll's farming. <laughs> He's just been running around the jungle, and it's He's got maximum power. Yeah. But Magnus is literally just following him around. Yeah, that's a, I guess it's not that surprising when you put it that way. I keep forgetting he's got the clue. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of this strat. Yeah. Jeez, that Kunkka just tickles him with that tie bringer. Yeah, and this is, I don't know, it's kind of tough. Like, I, we saw a, a Kunkka earlier today that went like an AC as a third item. I don't or like something. this. I don't like this BKB. Yeah. What's the BKB like? I can kind of understand it because you want it against the OD, but I think he's the playmaker, so he feels like he needs to be constantly moving in a team fight and ensure that he gets off his initiation or something. Maybe. His his item build is just gonna come to a dead stop this game. Like he's he's probably gonna end up with a halberd after this and yeah, feel kinda done. So are Evos waiting for a specific timing? Because all things equal, you're not out farming this troll at this pace, even with the IO. Even gyro with the eggs, ancient like, stacks, like BKB and gyro eggs. I guess that's that's kind of it. BKB, like those both those items on. No, gyro no, no. Eggs. BKB on the Kunkka and then gyro and eggs. And gyro eggs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. Gyro wants a BKB. Is that what that was? Am I crazy? No. no. no, no okay, you clicked on Kunkka. We clicked on Kunkka. Yeah. My bad. Okay, so he's not far from the Agonims. No. Less, less than two K. So hopefully this timing's coming pretty soon. I'd be feeling pretty nervous letting this troll just gyro free farm up to the BKB scary. before forcing a fight. And it seems like that's going to be what'll happen. They get the scan and then the blink away. Mac will not be ganked. And yeah, sitting on the Midas too. That's the other thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Good yeah. vision though. They spot where the Shadow Demon's hiding right now with that ward. Does Doom have blink? Dire structures uh, he does. Okay. And he has but the he net. But he has the net. Yeah, no stomp. The stomp. Hmm. Maybe he hasn't found it yet. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Gyro keeps killing them. <laughs> it's for the Soulbind value. <laughs> right. Double net. Well, yeah, there you go. Against the Stampede, actually. I, I, no, I think the Stomp <laughs> is just better, though. If, if they're Soulbound, you can probably just Stomp both of them anyway. Ooh, that Sentry sees that Observer Ward up there. But will it expire in time? Remember when you used to get Stomp and Attack Speed? Oh, man. Those yeah, were the those, days. Those were the days. Boomy. Takes it down. All right, so they got that ward. Are there any wards right now for the Radiant? It doesn't look like they have any no, out except for right here. A whole lot of vision. A very blind plan right now. Not what you want with the Io Gyro. Okay, Wisp, Wisp is getting close to a mech as well. Is he going to have that before the Kanka has BKP? Maybe yeah, not. It's going to be about the same yeah, about timing. The same. Okay. All right, that, that, is, that is a big timing for them. Yeah. They will also have Mag Blink at that point, most likely. That's not so bad for a position four Magnus. He's actually found a little bit of farm for himself. Yeah. Forty-seven creeps. So I guess it's it's come at the cost of the Shadow Demon a little bit. He's playing a real hard five here. Dude, yeah. what a ward that he just dropped down though. Who's expecting that ward at nineteen minutes? Yeah, that's cool. And they look like they want to set up for something. They also have the vision Radiant's in there right now, spotting out uh, White Mon too. This is crazy. They see everything. This is a hard game for Mag to get a good RP though, right? Like. There's Scorched Earth, there's like Flak Cannon, there's Wisp Spirits, there's lots of random things that could cancel your blink yeah. as you go for it. Although they have a hard time scouting him out too, sort of. Yeah. Like this Kunkka didn't buy any sort of Shadow Blade or something. They don't have a classic IO hero like a Bane or a Nyx. Yeah. Th the most obvious thing for Magnus to do is I, I guess Radiant kind of wait for the, scanning. like they yeah, bait the exactly. troll, troll pops ulti and then you just uh, RP whoever the troll is on. Yeah, he will obliterate them if they that get that off. The Ag's Gyro has really started to pick up his farm levels. Now he's mm -hmm. just about on par with the uh, control. Yeah, that's true. The Ag is on Gyro just feels better and better the more I see it. Gives him stats at a really crucial time when he's a little bit weak. Extra damage if you get life steal, extra survivability, extra farming. Three for one on bounties. I wonder so where it rates in the Ag's. It's so sick once you get the uh, Satanic as well. Like the yeah. side gunner can just keep you alive. Yeah, through, through crazy. chain stun. 
So they're going to wait for the gyro BKB timing as well as the mech being done on this IO. Would you believe me if I told you it was the 39th Minions eggs on the Suns fan list? Does that attack. seem appropriate for gyro? Uh, uh. I mean, how many heroes? We got 100 and. I'll what? tell you that he's below Bane. Oh my god. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> that, uh, and just above Clink. That ain't it, Chief. Wait. <laughs> Wait, so Bane is above. This Clinks? list needs to be revised. Bane is. All right, it's got his special criteria of what if every hero just got a free egg in it? Suns fan really mailed uh, it in with this egg's power ranking. I'm not going to lie. Wow, he worked hard on this. How dare you? He didn't mail it in. He's, He's just misunderstood. Then why was the first one so much better? Wait. You gotta push it out quick when the Ags patch comes. <laughs> yeah, quick. What was it, like three weeks later? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> it's a lot of Underlord to happen. That guy's a Lord of the White Spire, I'm pretty sure by now. What's your number one Ags, Cameron? I'm actually pretty curious. Oh. Does it, does uh, it line up with the Sun Span? Well, let me think about it for. All right, we'll come back to you. Yeah. You can make your own criteria as to what terms. Oh, are. right. I can just I can add another random exactly. secondary condition. Now, my personal criteria is the likelihood of it actually Radiance being Radiance used Radiance and being attack. good for a hero. AKA Death Prophet is the best. I was actually, I was just thinking like, oh, the DP egg single-handedly brought that hero back into the meta. Yeah. yeah. So that's got to be up there. But um, l let me think on a little bit more. All right, all right. I'll let it go. I'll let, yeah, I'll let you simmer and stew a little bit. Yeah. The X. It's so annoying. He's trying to get that BKB, but it's not happening. I forget what Suns fan ranked as number one. I know I disagreed with it. Uh, when it was I first Rubik, saw it. I think, which uh, by his no. criteria somewhat makes sense. Oh, number two was Broodmother, right? I think it might have been Invoker number two. All right, actually. they just doom him. They run away. X. Need to be able to get the save there, and it comes out from the OD. Everything used. Evo's got to be careful. The big RP connects onto both of them, and now Troll's just going to beat away. Is it going to be enough damage? He is doomed, though. Chase, chase, chase. Oh, let's get them. Looking oh, no. pretty oh, damn really good. good. Oh, dear God. Wow, that went surprisingly bad for the Radiant, despite finding all those item timings. Turns out BKB on Troll is pretty good. They're going to find another one here as the Kunkka falls. A triple kill for Natsumi. The Troll has popped off. Oh, you know what's cooking? Up. Boom. Ooh. That is a full five-man wipe, boys and girls. He just got another skewer. Boombox. Dude, he's making it happen. He's winning this game. Turns out Troll with Empower is just as good as we thought it was. Yeah. Man, it's really scary. Very nice. I think this speaks again to, like, Mag 3, no, Mag 4, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. A lot of teams have been going for this option, though, where if you see the IO Gyro, it's what can we get to match the farm so that we don't just uh, – get put on this clock, you know? And when they come and approach us, we don't just lose the game. And mm. for some teams, it's been the Sven, and for other teams, it's been the Mag plus one. Man, uh, yeah, looking very, very solid here. And now you've got the Aegis. I, I think the biggest thing is it's like, you know that the entire team is sitting behind him. They had the Shadow Demon there for the save. They had the OD there for the save. They, they dropped everything, and then they just didn't do any damage to the troll. And because of the status resistance, like, Doom doesn't last that long. I do think it's a really good point about the saves, especially against the Kunkka. Right? We haven't yeah. seen it too much, but, attack. yeah, like, the Radiant Kunkka pick, the, the combo is super telegraphed. So the imprisonment and the disruption make his life really hard. Well, and maybe, like, Radiant Io and Gyro need to relocate behind and, like, just try and yeah. mess people up. And like the create there chaos. is definitely a factor of you can just cast your spells however you want as a droid, it right. feels like, which is very bad. You know that should never really be a, a factor of the enemy team's lineup. There should be some sort of uh, chaos factor back there. Right. Smoked up, looking at a veal, but this is a, a dangerous place to try and make a play. I'd say for these two, even with an Aegis, seems a little unnecessary. Yeah. But they'll wait for backup. Now it looks a little better. Troll right. has Satanic now and BKB. I don't know if he cares <laughs> anymore now that the rest of the team is behind him again. What's his status resistance at again? 41.2%. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Mag is getting both of the bottom bounty runes. That's going to be four going the way of Adroit and just growing their lead even further in this best of one. 17k net worth. Lead, or rather not lead, but for the Troll. 
He's a monster. Evo's just kind of wandering around on their side of the map, not able Man. to farm anything. Radiant's what a tough series of events for them, too, after last game and now this, too. X, they find the Shadow Demon. Save, used on the mag. He can blink when he comes out of this one if he wants to. Blinks away. Still fine. Mac's just going to pop the BKB, try and beat into him. Control Whirler chasing. The Doom comes out. It's onto the OD, and he is in a little bit of trouble, but the Stampede keeps him alive. Yeah, they can't find him. He's just juking towards their own base. And he's going to wait for this one to wear off and go back in if he wants to. On oh, Natsumi, chases down the Doom, forces them back, and he's just going to kill him off. A double kill, Soulbind? Is it for anything? The Sanity's Eclipse comes down and Troll just starts laying into the Kunkka. They need to buy back everybody if they want to take the fight, oh, but it ain't going to happen. Oh no, they lose the Gyro. Wait a minute though. Wait a minute though. Gyro's down, no buyback. They lost the OD. Radiance bottom tower yeah, but they didn't lose the attack. troll. They didn't they even lose the Aegis. This troll's huge. Yeah, and it was three Large buybacks. and in charge. Look at that damage done, dude. It's the troll show. He just ran after that Grimstroke in the back line. I felt so bad. I'm, how long is troll's BKB? I'm just wondering, mid, seconds like, does, does yeah. this game change once the troll's BKB gets to I don't Richard? think so. They, they, status don't, resistance? they don't control him that much better, huh? No. Also, a uh, controversial ags potential. I don't know if I necessarily believe this is number one. Techies. Mm. Like, that hero is... Uh, is it only viable because the, the ags kind of exists for the mid-game? That is a very good answer. I don't know if it's objectively like, I, number I, I, one. I don't think it's objectively number one, but I, I agree with the logic. I was trying to think about, like, important ag yeah. If you take that ags away from techies, he gets... A lot worse. Yeah, yeah. it's like an MVP vote, right? There's a lot of different criteria you could go for here. Yeah. Well, and it's also not just about the sign; it's also the damage that it does. It lets that hero scale to yeah, stay you can, relevant. You can just put down a mine in the middle of the fight and pop it. Dying's yeah. yeah that, that stop did not last long. All right, now make chaos in the back of the fight. But is there any follow-up here? Wonder Kid just turns, pops everything, starts to lay him down. Maybe a chance. Oh, Shadow Amulet, but they get vision. And they take him out. Gonna find the Shadow Demon as well. Cody's miles away. Yeah, this is getting better. Okay. Troll's coming back in a second. Thanks they have well set up. 15. Stop to follow. BKB turnaround, though. And yeah, that, that'll happen. Damn, he BKB and ulti. Yeah, he went hard there. And Kunkka paid for it. No buyback. Do they get anything from it, though? Probably just another tier two. Yeah. A little sloppy from Adroit. <laughs> the old uh, peak performance troll with three lives of Aegis, Satanic, BKB. Yeah. Kind of hard to win a fight into that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the fact that they still have their racks seems uh, yeah, almost like a win I, at this point. I think point. that was a pretty successful hold for, uh, for Evos. This they troll really is playing so cocky, though. Mag's waiting to back him up. They have Doom used already, but the save is oh, going to oh, be there. Oh. Pack it in. They got the catch. They got oh. the combo. Oh, my lordy. Get out of my house. Get out of my game. Mac Daddy has arrived. He took the long way. <laughs> but he found his path, and yeah. that's what's important. Jeez, that was, that was all OD. 6160 in terms of total damage in that team fight out of the total 7300 <laughs> <laughs> it was all od radiance middle tower is on Guys, now he has a scythe let's kill the troll <laughs> we going high ground here right. well natsumi is a couple of buybacks available kunkka up in a few seconds kind of a difficult push for a droid let's see if they can get a tier three and they will Committing for some barracks, perhaps. The thing that's scary Radiance about it, though, is that like this Thunder troll still has double the net worth of the Kunkka. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> he got his he got his hit though. Three heroes of Tidebringer. Natsumi has no fear. He Radiance gets the barracks mid. He's just fallen. gonna walk away. He's gonna taunt away. To be more precise. Very true. So back to the agonims. Back to the agonims. Uh, Cameron, I, I think the, the top five we all pretty much agreed on pretty well. Weaver's in there and Volker, what? Rubik. Weaver? Weaver's number why, four. Why did you lead what? with Weaver? Well, because yeah, it was the one that was open <laughs> on my phone. But I don't want to get caught up on that bug. It's the fifth broodmother that we got really hung up on. Do you think Ember Spirit is worthy of six? 
if Brood Mother is five. Why? No. M no. But, but, but Brood is good. I would say Brood is top no, ten. There, there's there's some meme theory crafting happening on the on the new eggs. Like, Dude, Brood 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 eggs is pretty cool. Is it's attack. cool, and it does fix part of her problem of you can move around the map when you're normally stuck in one. Like, doesn't it seem kind of analogous to the Death Prophet one before she had this big hard Brood limit when her ultimate was on cooldown, and now the eggs fixes that problem? I don't think you have to buy attack. eggs every game on Brood though. Like, you, often you see people with the, they've just got... It almost uh, feels like a failsafe. Like, oh, we uh, didn't take a rack set 25 minutes. I now guess. I need eggs, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But that, uh, that's not as good as, like, a death problem, I th I think I think people are are buying it a lot. I think it's... We don't see that much Broodmother, so it's hard yeah. to say. But I think it's being over -purchased. I saw it winning some opens in EU. Oh, another RP! Oh, God. I, All right. You cannot ask for more from a support Magnus. No. There's just no way. Yeah. This is not how. This hero's not supposed to be this good. In I mean, this oh, since this first blood, sorry, this Magnus oh, has been no. overperforming. <laughs> that feels so bad. Your your IO gets. There's like a, a little delay. There's maybe a little bit of a talk, and then he says sorry. Oh, IO. It's okay, buddy. He should be sorry. No. It's not his fault they got RP. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it's true. That wasn't his the, lane. The, he didn't feed the Magnus. Well, the, the, right? It should be the Grimstroke and the Doom saying sorry. What the heck? No, the, but the Wisp isn't supposed to get RP'd with his giant. Yeah, I think that's the a deal down. Some buybacks coming. Radiant looking for a big hole. This Trollward is taking kid. no damage. He's just a beast. That's a dieback on the Gyro. This one should be going down soon. Where's my team? He just did nothing to him. The Hex comes out. Kunkka, gone as well. Man, ultra kill for Mac. That real enough? carry. Yeah, they had GG. Enough, GG. It's happening. Out. Oh, man. Like, Evo's just got stuck in this mentality of one more item for too long in this game. And the yeah. troll, while they were deciding, was just running around the jungle with a, a free battle fury, killing creeps. Like, yeah, while well, you guys decide, I'm just going to power farm my way to victory. I think on top of that, that massive team fight mid was pretty much the game decider. Yeah. Like, if the Radiant win that team fight, they don't just win the game, but then they might have gotten control of the dire side, got better wards down, maybe then yeah. the relocates come out, but they lost that fight hard. Well, so. and, uh, The thing that I wonder about is how much does that last game play into this too, right? They just lost that yeah, last they have, game. They've got a bit of a break, right? They, I, I, before their next at match? At least for ours. They might have I to play so. another one afterwards. But this is the brutal part about this best of one schedule just keeps rolling. Like yeah. They lost that last okay, game in a way I don't think they like. But they've, they've got like mm. four rounds off now. They've got two more matches at the the end of the day. All right, so some time oh. to recollect, come back. Yeah, yeah, I think they need some time to maybe, like, look at the drafts, look at the replays. Each Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did. Yeah. Time yeah. time for the, that. The, that, in, the yeah. interesting thing for me as well is that all three games, it, it didn't feel like it even went that late, but it feels like the greedier draft in all, mm -hmm. all the games that we've watched so far actually ended up winning. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Spec Warlock. Troll well, game. There was no troll punishment again. here either. The troll didn't die. 12 0 and 7. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, I think, a very telling stat. There was a lot of time in the early game when he was maybe vulnerable and they couldn't do anything. As we said, the Magnus, first blood, right? Yeah, that, first well, the, the first blood yeah. double kill. Yeah, Dota's Don't, a team game, and I really usually hate MVPs, but come on. This, this Magnus, yo. Magnus. Did it. Absolutely ridiculous. All right. Crazy stuff. I can dig it. Um, well, man, not a, whole else to, not a whole lot else to say about that game, uh, but we are going to be going into our next one. The Boom Folk are back. Boom ID versus RSG. You know what's cooking. <laughs> Boom. Uh, so stay tuned, everybody. More from the Southeast Asian qualifiers right after this. If you want, you can keep on following the second line on twitch.tv slash beyondthesummit, too. But for now, we're going to a break. See you guys in a few.